dad was working on high-end architectural homes in Sydney. He was a concreter at the time and one of the things he had to do was put in a crossover drain where the driveway goes to the footpath. This is a photo of a drain that inspired dad to come up with the slot drain that mm. looks basically just like an expansion joint in the concrete. And then architects that we were working with at the time said, well, why can't we just use this indoors? Ah, like in, in a shower or in a bathroom. And that's what evolved into the world's first shower channel. From that application on, the shower channel solved a whole bunch of design problems that we had no idea about. The architects had been bothered by for ages and had no solution and this was the solution they were waiting for. We had a product that was ready to go. We had no idea it was going to be as successful as it was and we had no idea it was a world first. We just assumed this had been done elsewhere, but nope. Now, fast forward 25 years later, your, your dad sadly passed away. You're now running the, the shop. And this is the kind of work you're doing now. That's right. So this is one of our latest products. We call it the Wave Grape. We got a good design award for this one just last year. And you've expanded out of Australia. You're in Asia, you're Middle East, you're in the US and all run out of regional Australia. That's right. When we started in Sydney, we were growing and we couldn't afford, we simply could not afford to continue to grow in Sydney, it was too expensive. Dad, being from the bush originally, really wanted to return to the bush, yeah. and so we chose Nara. It's very close to Sydney, which is a major distribution hub, so we've got instant overnight transport, very highly skilled workforce and a fantastic lifestyle with the mountains to the beaches. <laughs> Lovely. I mean, you could do all this though offshore. Surely. Absolutely. Many a person has said to us that we should offshore mm. to the usual suspects, but Dad and I absolutely wanted to retain it in Australia. Number one, we love Australian manufacturing. We buy Australian made where we can. But also, once you offshore your product, you lose control. You lose control of your IP. You lose control of your manufacturing processes and quality. And you lose control of your supply chain. Whereas having it here, all in-house, if something goes wrong, it's my fault. But because it's my fault, it gives us an opportunity to identify what's wrong, remedy it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Hey. Hey, Mike, great to see you. <laughs> yeah, now you're the resident industrial designer. I am. Now this design really pushed the machinery, didn't it? It did, Mike. This was our original cut pattern, which took us about an hour 20 over a six metre length. You know, to, to manufacture to, that? To, to machine this out, yeah, for doing this part of the manufacturing process. Right. So I came up with this, this design here, which is this flow pattern, mm. and what that did, that enabled us to cut one hour 20 down to 12 minutes. Think of the money involved. Think of the sustainability. Don't you love industrial designers? They think of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Mike, this is the uh, machine that we use for cutting that weave pattern in the underside of the grate. Oh, the, the pattern that takes like 12 minutes. Correct. Originally to do this full uh, six metre length, one hour 20, the weave pattern now travels from that end to that end in 12 minutes. This father and son duo have taken on the world, led by design thinking and determination. What a great story. And yes, pun intended. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more every week.